my name is Duncan Maskell. I am the Marks and Spencer Professor of Farm Animal Health, Food Science and Food Safety at the University of Cambridge in the Veterinary School, Department of Veterinary Medicine. Um, until recently I was Head of the Department of Veterinary Medicine and now I'm also, um, instead of that, I'm now the Head of the School of the Biological Sciences. Um, I think um, I started out uh, at school thinking about science, uh, but I was uh, pretty good at a bunch of different subjects, including being quite good at music. So, um, the, uh, people that inspired me at school and at that level when my ideas were formulating were quite diverse. I did have a fairly inspirational uh, couple of science teachers at school, especially in chemistry actually, um, who, who somehow managed to get me uh, over the hurdle of understanding certain concepts and, and all the rest of it. And I started to understand how, how beautiful um, science could be in terms of uh, when you really start to understand, understand things better than just you know, learning, etc. And I think um, it wasn't really until I started my final year undergraduate course that I started to see some pretty inspirational characters. And these were people uh, in the Department of Pathology in Cambridge who I had uh, come across in the literature and in papers that were interesting to me. And suddenly I'm sitting there in this department uh, learning my honours year course in pathology, um, uh, you know, uh, sitting down, going to the pub with or, or having a cup of tea with um, some of these people. Um, uh, so I stayed on and did a PhD there, and it was then that I met my PhD supervisor, my main PhD supervisor, who was a guy called uh, Carlos Hormeche. And Carlos uh, actually heard, uh, was from Uruguay, and he pitched up in Cambridge because he'd had to leave Uruguay in the mid-70s because of the uh, military dictatorship that had taken over there. And so he had a fascinating backstory in that sense anyway. But Carlos was a truly inspirational character to me. And the reason Carlos was inspirational was because he utterly uh, lived for the science. And he made me realize that, that, that you can do this thing peripherally and uh, in a sort of glossy way, or you can dig deep and really get down to the nitty gritty. And that means a lot of hard work. It means a lot of trying to understand things. It means a lot of learning. Uh, you've got to know the literature really, really well. And then you've got to start using all of that to think and be creative and inventive. And he was fantastic at, at, at teaching me all of those kinds of core skills, if you like, to be a great scientist. But, but most importantly of all, he was always there uh, to have a chat and to just run ideas past.